Hey everybody, it's Marion from Life Unboxed and today I have a small haul and a little bit of chat and some stuff that I brought over from the RV that I want to share with you and a book that I want to share with you. So before I start all that, I want to thank you if you're a new subscriber. It always warms my heart to have new people on my channel. And it warms my heart to have my tried and trues always coming back as well. So let's get started. Yesterday I went out with uh, Nathan and um, I did a Halloween video with him. If you have not seen that yet, go to that Nate guy on YouTube and um, it's the new Halloween video that he has out. It was a lot of fun, but I have to tell you that I had some odd dreams last night. I don't remember what they were or what they consisted of. I just know that Wraith was in it, that ghost thing that's just a white sheet. Go figure. Anyway, <laughs> it was fun. I had fun doing it, and um, I think that a lot of people liked it also. So yesterday, after that, we went to Gabe's. He wanted to take me to Gabe's. So I got a few things from Gabe's, and I went there before in a different area of, um, I don't know what state we were in. Um, while he was taping a video, while he was making a video, I went to this Ga Gabriel's, and I found nothing that interested me at all. And I spent a good 35, 45 minutes in that store, but to, uh, it didn't uh, avail me anything. So this time I went there and I found a few things. First of all, this cute bag. And as you know, we are always in and out of the RV, going places or staying other places. And we end up with bags to carry stuff in. So I figured this one is a really nice bag that I could put all of my cosmetics in or I could put my clothes in or whatever but isn't it pretty and this bag was a $30 bag and I got it for $14.99 so it's got side pockets um, it's got a front zip pocket as you can see there and another side pocket and then the inside of course is really really deep Big and deep. Can you see that? Get this out of the way here. Right there. Nice and deep. That cost me $14.99. And I just realized that there's no strap. The strap is missing. That you strap here to carry it like on a shoulder. But it's okay because I don't need, I don't never use that strap anyway. So, the next thing I got was, you know, I'm on that elusive journey to find those comfortable undergarment things, the bras. So, these are more like a bathing, it could be a bathing suit top, but it actually is a microfiber two-piece sports bra. So, we'll see how that's going to be. But aren't, isn't the back cute? Look at that back. And that black one has similar, yep. So they're both pink and black. So that was that, and that was $8.99. And um, for two, I thought that was a pretty good deal. My next purchase was these pajama pants. You know, I'm always looking for pajama pants too. And these are a nice cotton material um, with a little flannel. Not heavy, heavy, but really a little flannel here. And um, stretchy. These were $7.99. So it says comparable value of $40. I don't know about that, but I know that these are really, really looking really comfortable. And so that's that. And then I got a birthday card for my my um, daughter-in-law because, and she doesn't watch this my video, so. Um, and I she is she has a birthday on Halloween, 
I couldn't find a happy birthday Halloween card, so I got a wishing you a happy Halloween card. And I'll just write in it, and a happy birthday. And that's what it says in here. May you enjoy everything this season will bring your way, the festive spirit of Halloween and the colorful beauty of autumn. Happy Halloween. And I'll put a happy birthday on there, too. So, that was my purchase from Gabe's. And um, definitely a nice store. This one here in Canton was a really good store. And I enjoyed shopping there. And I could have bought a lot more stuff. But I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to spend that much money. <laughs> but I could have. There was a nice purse there that I wanted um, to get. Um, but I decided to wait. You know, sometimes if you're not, if you're in doubt, do without. But if you're in doubt, also wait a couple of days and then go back. And if you still want it, then buy it. Okay, so um, in this farmhouse, which I'll be doing the upstairs tour today. Um, I've done the downstairs tour with no talking. The upstairs tour I will do with some talking. And, uh... In the bathroom downstairs is this wit and wisdom from the road. Find adventure in every state with road trip inspired quotes, tidbits, and facts. This is the coolest book ever. I mean, inside it has the states, like this is Massachusetts, and then it's got, for always the pioneer has been a traveler and to some extent a man of the world. And that's from Henry David Thoreau, The Maine Woods. Um, it has stuff to go see, and it stops while you're in Massachusetts, and they have three or four um, stops that you should make. Then they go on to, um, oh, New England, so New Hampshire, and they have the same thing. And so the whole book is filled with uh, tips um, and added stops in different areas of, uh, in different states. So um, I'm going to read this thoroughly because you know that we're always looking for um, some place to go unique and different in the states that we visit. So, um, and our next trip, our next stop is Missouri to visit my daughter and son-in-law, uh, Chrissy and Tim. Uh, I don't know if any of you know this, but they moved from Louisiana uh, because uh, they have always been missionaries at heart, but with the children growing up and everything, um, they put it aside, and so then they got a call to uh, go to Mi go to Missouri to head up a um, not a church specifically, but a um, outreach um, program. So they're there, and um, I'll get the I'll get the details from Christina, and then my next video I'll clue you in as to what they actually do. But they did buy a little house, a two bedroom house. Um, right there in uh, Clarkton, Missouri. If you ever go through Clarkton, Missouri, look them up and say hello. Um, I guess they have about a thousand people um, in that little town. And um, so anyway, they, um, my house is being occupied by my grandchildren. So Julia is there and Joshua and his wife Caitlin moved in to the big room where Tim and Chris had. And so they're taking that over. Jonathan is there, which is my other grandson. He has his own little area in the house. And Josiah. Now Josiah, you know, is in the, uh, he's in the Marine Reserve. So he's gone every, I don't know, every six weeks he has to go for a couple weeks to um, training. So, um, so anyway, the house is there and, and they're taking care of it. They're paying the mortgage. They're doing all the upkeep. And I'm very proud of those uh, those kids that do that. So I'm very happy to share my house with them. And if they ever decide to move out, then Nathan and I will sell it. And that'll be that. Anyway, we always have a place to go back to in Louisiana. Christina and Tim always have a place to go back to in Louisiana if, we, if they want to and if we want to. Uh, but we are going to visit them uh, as much as we can. And we'll stay at um, an RV park. Or we can also park in the driveway because we do have a 50 amp hookup there. So anyway, um, I'm going to try and talk to um, the kids about maybe becoming a Boondockers Welcome 
um, area where uh, boondockers can come and stay um, for free or um, just have a little, um, you know, tip or whatever for using the electric or water. It's just like an overnight thing. We'll see. Okay, so that's that book. And um, that's really interesting. I'm going to read that. So I went over to the RV yesterday. We, we go because it's pretty close. <coughs> so, excuse me. We go over there every once in a while and uh, get stuff that we need. And um, so I picked up some stuff. My headband. One of my headbands. Oh, two of my headbands. Oh, no. Three of my headbands. So I can do my face uh, mask Mondays, ladies, um, face, uh, you know, masks. So, and I bought, brought back some Hello Kitty face masks, the Hyaluronic Acid Bubble face mask that I bought a few uh, weeks ago. Stardust peel off mask treatment, soothing. We'll see about that. You know me in, in uh, peel-off masks. Uh, clay mask bubble. And uh, the eye, under eye patches, the uh, charcoal. And then this. I have this whole thing filled with masks, as you can see. There's clay masks. There's sheet masks. There's, um, let's see, hand and gloves masks. There is another glove, which I need badly. Um, there is anti-stress clay mask, which I think I've used this once already. And there is uh, definitely, oh, three to four uses in there. Okay, that's cool. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, honeybee facial mask. Um, this one is French pink pink. French pink clay peel off mask. Uh, let's see. This is conditioning argon vitamin C face mask. That one. And then there is Cibella. That's from my Melaleuca company. I haven't tried that yet. I should do that on my next um, Mask Monday. Well, I got two of those. So I'll try that on the next mask Monday. Then there's the silver foil face mask. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't think I've tried that yet, but definitely. Maybe that's my next one. I don't know. I haven't done one because I haven't had any masks. I didn't want to use the same one over and over. This is Pretty Animals Mask Bar Unicorn that and then we have the soften up skin anim animated bare face mask that's cute and um, I have a another one of those <clears throat> and then we have the charcoal pore care mask and then we have the Star Skin Firming Biocellulose Face Mask. How about that? And then we have an Activated Charcoal Facial Essence Mask. And then we have Don't Piss Me Off. I don't know where that came from. Um, Oribua. Orab Orabua Calming Mask. It's a two-step. Hmm. Cleansing Foam. Okay. So, that is it. That's what I've had in here forever. So, that's, that's it. That's it on my face masks for now and my video of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's talk about Gabby. Poor Gabby. Uh, it broke my heart that they found her body. That was such a sad thing. And now what's going on with Brian? Where is he and why is he running? If he has nothing to be guilty of, then he should be talking to the police. Anyway, let's pray for the family of Gabby to find 
peace and comfort at this very, very hard time. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that you would give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. That will tell you when I upload another video. And um, don't forget to be kind to one another because it is a rough world out there. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be the tour of the farmhouse. Stay tuned. I love you all. Bye guys.